You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You're... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. You gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just... No more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. All right, hold up. So, just so y'all know, I recorded this um, mission already, but it didn't save last time, so I have to go back and do it. That's why Arthur isn't wearing the clothes that I had on him, and that's why he have the thick beard and a different horse. <sighs> but after I do this mission, everything should go back to normal. So, yeah. I just couldn't leave out this mission. Easy boy, calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. There, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hip, hip, hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. <laughs> all right. Miss Calhoun. Well. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep. And the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall All we right. go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. All right. We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food now, and we now. Fresh. Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. Okay. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Okay. On Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Mr. Morgan, I give you the 
the male of the species. Yeah, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Stop just past the bank. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies, get down! Come on! 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 Come all of us. Yay. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals! Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fair, equal, and free, just as the founding fathers intended. Yeah. Yeah. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. <laughs> His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. All right. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, oh you always were. Bo, cocky little... why don't we just leave him? Well, who the hell is this? I'm your worst nightmare, boy. You'll Shoot you on your dick. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Let's go. Now. We are all Americans. Yeah, don't make, don't, hey, don't make me take out my gun. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's all right. It's a battlefield no one goes to. Come on, Bo. want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> my cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... <sighs> everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner <laughs> it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasures. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't, right? You know, and Penelope said... Uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here, your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, it should take us to where we left off at on the last video. Just gotta wait on this freaking loading screen. So, how's your day going? Hope it's good. Hope I make it better. Maybe. Maybe not. And here we go. Here. Here go me right now. We got clean face to Arthur. And my girl Leah. Look, look at her. 
All right, girl. <laughs> Been too long, girl. All right, where are we going? We got Lenny, but then we got Hosea. And we're gonna do Hosea. Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. All right, John. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Okay. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. <laughs> They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. Mm -hmm. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. All right. something out in the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor I ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we see it it's ours <laughs> well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me I couldn't see your name on it oh relax I'm here to run <laughs> oh it's easy, it's easy enough what a good deal what do you sell that doctor dollar a Give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Yeah, boy. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. 
You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. Mm. All right. Next stop, the Road Saloon. All right, Here we're we actually go. doing it. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not that considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs oh, like course. us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. Now we're inserting ourselves in a feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're you're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look. <laughs> and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Wow. Put this hat on. Oh, you took. Oh, okay. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? No. Oh, you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Bruh. Pipe. Broke poor mammy's heart. There, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Huh? This gonna be about funny in the mud. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two pieces of that stuff and follow me. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Gentlemen! I wonder how this gonna turn out. The town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Bro, that worked. Bro, these two get fire when, when they come back. Mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, fellas. It's your lucky day. I'll have one, Ben. A gift. Bounty. It's a cylinder of a gift. Oh, that's I some strong stuff. Just eyes. keep them coming. See, it won't catch us all. <laughs> Don't be shy, boys. Don't You're a fine man, man. Don't listen. 
everybody in this jump out drunk in the mud, bro. And I'm still giving drinks. It's nighttime. I'm telling you, they getting fired. gonna buy. Jump! We're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn lick! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, oh, great. Bow, bow. Bow. What do you think I'm doing? Something. Think you can steal from us? You're dead man. You ain't gonna be Freak you think you thought. They ain't prepared for the swiftness of Arthur Morgan. What the freak? Okay, Arthur, we gotta jump. Oh. I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? Over there. They got out the back. Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. I'm trying. You know. Break. Freak, I knew it. I was about to die. I should have healed. I should have healed. All right, we're going to restart at the checkpoint. And uh, I should have got my rifle off of Leah when we was still close to camp. But, hey, I didn't think about that till now. I'm getting it. Got more coming after us. I see them. Well, shoot them then. Look out on your right. Behind us, Arthur. Coming out of the alley. Hold up. Hold up. You got me straight. Freak. Get freaking back. There's more to your right. Shoot to your left. You don't run nothing, boy. Freak. What were you saying? either gonna get hit by the train or shot up by me and it was shot up by me
Anybody else? Ha! You see any more of them? Don't think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career in... What was it? Advertising. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, right. for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> wow. I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. You're crazy. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something that happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for it. Now, if you use me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay, well, hold up. I <laughs> change my clothes. She's talking about. I'm done with that, and if you want me to leave, then that's fine too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with Dutch. Do whatever you goddamn please. Her friend just don't hag. How dare she? Actually, wait. Should we work this? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it off now.
Modify. Mm-hmm. Alright, we're gonna continue this episode. So, Arthur's going to sleep. <sighs> well, I scratch. Only fitting. Alright, it's daytime. Um, let's see. Hold up, we gonna do Linux. He is the closest. How's it going? What's up? Ooh, hey, Sadie. Hey, Good morning, Arthur. You managing not to kill Pearson? Only just. Ah, uh, he ain't that bad. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> See you later, baby. Kid. You got a lot on? Let go. Uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. That ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. And in their dealings, sometimes sit on a decent pile of cash. Yeah, been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. With just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Well... Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go, kid. All right then, let's go rob some food. Hmm. <laughs> Me and Lenny again. Look at my baby, though, Sadie over there. Hey there, Tilly. Good morning. What's up, my boy? Morning, mister. Tuh. <laughs> Leah. How you doing, girl? It's this way. On me. Ta. Come on, Lenny. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You have been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but no, that's not how I might have met them. I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's hmm. terrifying. These fellas is yeah, we won't find a shortage of angry Beckerwood idiots in the state of Lamorne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call <laughs> you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. <laughs> but most of it is a... A glance or a word. And after that, 
a visit in the night. Out west is out west. And you're all you are, right? Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Oh, well, Anna. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well, I guess their ghosts are shiny. Their guns still sh <laughs> So I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. Hmm. I hope we close, Lenny. And I want to see you something. I got Leonette, so I got all my Feels weapons like with close. me. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's all right. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. Yup, strategize, uh-huh. And, uh-huh, there we go. There go my strategy. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Yeah, I've been here before. I can see the wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? You see that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men mm. going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Women's suffrage and now the Civil War. Interesting. All in one episode, guys. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. Hold those Would be reins in. Very deadly. Let's just take a look around the place. I hear you. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. Hear that? Someone's on the track. My boy actually finna draw look that. There. Look. Go whack. Let's see where he's going. You're on me now. Right behind you. Let's keep our distance. Just two fellers out on the road. Those crates in the back. They look like explosives to you? Could be. Worth a follow at least. Once again, we had killed a freaking something. smaller animal. Into the avenue, between the trees. Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. Man, this junk driving so slow, bro. Hey, big plantation house. <laughs> Must be Shady Bell. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Oh, yeah, I remember this now. Come on. We can get a view on them from that wall up there. Ooh, we hold up. Make sure you bring your sharpshooter. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, wait. Wait. Okay, get the sniper. But I also want that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see anything? Yes. to the right you ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing can you look again for me i know dynamite crates when i see them 
got some. Get the cover, Lanny. Ooh. Sorry, come again. Oh. All right, Lanny. I'm coming. Ah. Transition. Run, run, dodge bullets. Transition. Uh, uh. Who is this? Who is this over here? Like I don't see you. Tr transition. Ooh. Me and Lenny. Two man army. Army of two. How you doing? Y'all can't handle us. Wait. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Arthur freaking Morgan, that's my name. Bow. Just barely. Quick. Any men in the area would have heard that. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. This ain't worth taking. All right, what can we take? Oh, no. Hey, this could be promise. What do you got? So, are we taking the whole thing or I'm not leaving here until I know we got something. Wait, oh, okay. No, no, we're not taking the wagon. We're okay. I see. Here. Come on. Is full of new apples. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, let's go. Yep, we taking the wagon. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. All right. Yeah. Hey, did y'all see how we just handled them folks just like that? I'm telling you, Don't we savage. Come on. Come on, Leah. Follow. Follow us. If you like the length of the video, let me know. Hey, stop! What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? In one of our wagons? Nope, you missed. You missed. I'm dead shot. Come on. How you doing? Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. I'm looking, all right. I can't see anyone chasing us. I should think we're out of the woods. Then, so to speak. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. <laughs> we did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragger. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. He wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me. We had to dig him out of Blackwater. But... No, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch, and everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay, then. Okay. Hmm. Thank you, Arthur. Yeah. yeah. Art to look at fresh. I might dye Leah's hair though. Hey, 
The camp's in these trees up here. Let's get there. Arthur, Lenny, coming back. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. Hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Anytime, Arthur. Well, I'm gonna end the episode right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I hope I'll see you on the next one. So, thank you for watching. See you on the next one.